Well, I never thought I'd see the day. But it actually looks like the tide is turning in Europe when it comes to sentiment about mass migration. Now Germany has become the latest major European country to talk openly about re-migration. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz says too many people are flooding into the country and that deportations must begin on a massive scale to redress the balance. A far cry indeed from Angela Merkel's we can do it promise when she claimed Germany could handle millions of new people entering predominantly from the Middle East and North Africa. Turns out we can't do it. At least if we want to have countries that remain barely recognisable. Too many people are coming, the Chancellor told the Spiegel magazine. We must finally deport on a large scale those who have no right to stay in Germany. 92,000 people have entered Germany illegally so far this year alone. That's on course to beat the 112,000 who entered illegally back in 2016 during the height of the refugee crisis. Over 21,000 illegals crossed the country's border in September alone. Those who are not likely to be granted permission to stay in Germany because they cannot claim a need for protection must go back. To make that possible, our public authorities must be reachable around the clock so that someone can actually be deported when the federal police take them into custody, said Scholz. Demanding that Germany deport people more often and faster, the Chancellor also demanded that court proceedings, which in some cases are taking years, be rapidly sped up, while insisting under a new migration pact that migrants are registered in their first country of arrival. Quote, instead of being waived through to Germany. Scholz's comments come after Henry Kissinger acknowledged that Germany had made a massive mistake by greenlighting mass migration on such an unprecedented scale. It was a grave mistake to let in so many people of totally different cultural and religious and concepts because it creates a pressure group inside each country that does that. Earlier this month, Emmanuel Macron announced that France would ramp up deportation of migrants with extremist beliefs. Sweden is also ramping up deportations by drastically lifting the income limit under which migrants are allowed to remain in the country. Last year, Denmark began demolishing migrant ghettos to halt the formation of parallel societies. Whisper it quietly, folks, but there might actually be cause for optimism here that the tables are starting to turn. <laughs>